Hello, Laura. Hello, Sam. <clears throat> Good morning and welcome to Aberdeen. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, quite a travel for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's been a good journey, but it's been worth it. So no mm. dull moment at all. I've been looking forward to see you here. Thank you for having yeah. me. Yeah, you've been the missing link. At last we found you. Uh, it's, it's been hard um, living far away. Um, yeah, so that's why. But I try to fit in every time I can. So really nice to be here last night spend yeah. time with the ladies and you the gents as well so yeah. it's been great it's it's been yeah. worth it although ideally it's not quite far uh just tell me where do you live like i live in Arbroot, and i think it's yeah. about an hour 20 minutes drive yeah. so i had to come with a train so i can yeah. just be yeah. free so, have a bit of something to drink great so you so live in abroad not... which is um in the scottish county of angus angus yeah yeah Great, beautiful place, you know, you. the place of Angus Tech, huh? Yeah, you know, Angus Tech, <laughs> lovely beef. Yeah, I, I, I love that area. I hey, love... listen, we're known for nice smokies, so if you ever want a good smokies, come down to our boat. Oh, there you get it, <laughs> right? Um, <clears throat> all right, yeah, it was great. You you obviously came for the also charity event that, yesterday, yeah. charity dinner, yes, combined with the Angela Hennessy Show program. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how was the night in there? Yeah. The night was really, really nice. It was an amazing night. Yeah. Um, well done to Lydia for the charity event and uh, for creating awareness with the kids in Kenya. She's doing an amazing job and we were there to support her. So yeah, so it was a good dinner and the garden was nice and to be able to catch up with the lady, the Angela Agnes show was fantastic. A good gathering, I must say. So yeah, well deserved. <laughs> Great. Yes, Laura, um, just a little bit of... Uh... Tell our viewers the background of who you are and a little bit of who you want us to know about you. I'm Laura Cameron. Um, I actually I'm a Nigerian, Native a Nigerian. British citizen. Great. I live in Angus abroad with my family. I've got a beautiful husband, nice, handsome, gorgeous man, loving to bits, and I've got two amazing daughters. So I'm actually. A flexible working mum because you know life in the UK it's um, a bit hard to come to combine everything together so you just have to do your best so I do work part-time I work in the health industry and I really love my job because it gives me um, the chance or will I say opportunity to contribute to humanity you know by looking after people helping people um, it's, it's a good cause but yeah so that's all about me and I've got lots of hobbies I do like to party with the ladies. It's always a good gathering because I'm not in Aberdeen, but when we meet together, it's really, really nice to catch up, get a bit loud, have a bit of drink, gossip, which we are very good at. Right. And yeah, so yes, and I love traveling as well. Fantastic. <laughs> so you're a mother of two beautiful daughters. I am. Happily married housewife and right. working in the health industry. So you're juggling a lot anyway here. Any advice to mothers raising kids in this country, especially in Scotland? Any any hindsight you have? For a working mom? Yeah, for, a, for a working mom, yes. A working mom, I would say a lot of us are working moms. Yes. And I can tell you it's not really easy to be a working mom, a wife, and a mom, a wife, a mom. And just be everything and i know some some of us are kind of some people are single and they're still parents and i still know it's not easy to compromise in <clears throat> such a life but we do try so my advice would be just be yourself try as much as you can to have fun let it not be all about families and kids break out a little bit get yourself together and keep living because if you want to be just a mom a wife and working it's so boring and trust me you could actually be depressed Go out there, have fun, a bit of travel, a bit of girly, girly getaway, a spa, a massage, just Great. with the girls. Mm -hmm. Amazing. 
fantastic and you've done it well you're looking fabulous oh, thank you know you very yeah much. almost like a, fan, a fashionista if i may say are you um, i try my best um, you love nice things yeah i do really like nice cool things. dressing love dressing yeah, yeah nice colors as well yeah. i like to combine my colors and spirit. I, I just love looking good the african spirit in you. <laughs> <laughs> the afro scottish spirit <laughs> great um right and uh, just finally, uh, briefly about the Angela Energy Show, it's, it's just a group of ladies coming together to share experiences and just have light moments, right? Yeah, the Angela um, Energy Show is an amazing show. Mm. It showcases us living in the UK, Aberdeen, um, coming together, trying to do different things, bringing our work ethnic, our motherhood, and... Yeah, I think it, it compromises a lot of things. Um, there are a lot of things you're going to have to learn about Scotland, Aberdeen, and the ladies, how our life is day to day. It's been beautiful. It's actually showcasing how we live live here in Scotland and in Aberdeen. And we try to come together from different places just to have this amazing show. Yes, so thank you, Angela, for putting up the show. Awesome, Laura. Yeah, yeah if I, before I leave you, uh, if I get it right, you are... You're quite faithful, lady. You are quite religious. I am. Right. You are, quite. You've got a religious philosophy. Uh, I would tell say us about yes. Your faith life. Yeah, I, I am very, very religious. Um, I'm a Christian. Okay. I love God. I love Jesus. And I love the world. I love humanity. Mm -hmm. I hate to see people suffer irrespective of their religious background. Mm -hmm. Whatever they are, I just wish the world could be a peaceful place. But then it still takes us back to how we came into humanity through mm -hmm. God. So I try as much as I can to evangelize the way I can, still be happy, still be faithful, still be beautiful, and still be me, just reaching out to everybody. God loves you all, Great. loves me too. Absolutely. The greatest religion is to love thy neighbor. It is. It's to practice self. love so to everybody. Regardless of, regardless of, of your religion. Fantastic. Yeah. And just to cap it up, your experience in Scotland. What can you tell the outside world about Scotland? You've been here for quite a while, right? Scotland yeah. is actually a very beautiful yeah. place. Yes. It's a peaceful place to live. It's um, it's very cultural oriented because in Scotland, you don't feel out of place as a black person. This is only the place you can actually go to in the UK. and You don't feel like, oh my God, I'm so black. Look at me. They can't want me here. You feel like you're like everybody else. It's such a peaceful, beautiful place to live. Beautiful landmark, a lot of beautiful places to go in Scotland. It can be cold sometimes, but honestly, you just get used to it. It's beautiful. Come visit Scotland. Indeed, everybody. Welcome to Scotland. Welcome to Scotland. <laughs> Laura Cameron, pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, Sam. It's Anytime. been amazing. Thank you. Si nous te prenons pour nous te parler